Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. This is Spencer with another automotive segment on the Chevy Sonic. Um, a lot of things to like about the car, but one thing most people hate is on these, uh, don't know about the later generation, but the 2011 to 2015 do not have a temperature gauge on here. And there are issues where the engine over temps and um, that could be prevented with a gauge. Uh, you should always listen to see if your cooling fans are running after you shut the engine down. Um, basically, root cause is there's a lot of plastic components in the cooling system that can fail. But I found a way, I just recently, to, uh, to address this. Um, I just recently upgraded to this uh, Android head unit. And one of the things you can do is install an aftermarket OBD2 scanner, uh, which I'm going to pull it out here and show it to you. Uh, so this plugs into your OBD2 port and um, that sends a Bluetooth signal to the head unit. And let's see if we get that back in place. <laughs> Tricky. Okay, it's back in. And uh, there's a variety of Bluetooth uh, OBD2 scanners and software. But on here, I have this particular one. I'll have to look it up. I did try the Torx one, but it gets really uh, a lot of interference with like playing the radio is one issue. I second one is I can't get it to connect for whatever reason, but this one does connect. Uh, so just going showing through the, the boot up here, you have to go connect the device allow it just thinking about it and this one's a free software there's a there's a paywall where you can have an upgrade that lets you try it for free on the light version and it, it gives you all kinds of information so one downside is you do have to go through this process on this version and this bluetooth scanner guy to work um, others may not have that issue but for the sake of knowing what your temperature is on the, the car, I think it's well worth it. And the, the actual Bluetooth uh, OBD2 scanner was only like $14. The software is free, and then if you get this head unit, you can go through that. You can also get um, scanners that work with your phone and, and so forth. But I wanted like a dash mounted solution. So, right here, I got my temperature, and it's interesting to see what happens. There's a variety of different gauges you can have with this, traditional round gauges, something like a history line graph, a bar graph. I have other ones here like the outside air temperature, voltage, um, timing advance. So anyway, you can you can have like uh, all kinds of different options of what you load on here. But this is a way for you to watch what your temperature is. And once you get above like 220, 230 degrees and it doesn't come down from that, that's what to watch out for. But this is just showing a way to get this thing on the dash and know what your, your temperature is as you go, especially if you're in a long trip or having to wait in a parking lot with the engine idling, that kind of thing. Uh, the other thing is you don't have to mess with this seat, uh, A pillar here. Some people put gauges in the A pillar, but there's an airbag right here. So that's a whole level of you don't want to mess with it that you don't have to worry about. So hopefully this shows you another way to, to make that happen on this car. It's fairly simple and straightforward after you get um, a head unit like this. I put descriptions uh, in, in the below of all the different products I got. You can get all the stuff from Amazon. It's well worth checking out, especially if you're trying to know what some of these things are that are not on the uh, gauge cluster here. So hopefully that'll help you with your car. Thanks.